Well, this week, the red sky at night will be a, scar, a star, sorry, a stargazer's delight, with Mars appearing much closer than usual. The planet will be among the brightest objects in our night sky as it makes its closest approach to Earth. While it may be much closer and brighter than normal, it's still a bit more than a stone's throw away, 81 million kilometres to be precise. All right, let's head up to the News Hub roof and bring in Stardome astronomy educator Josh Auraki. Kia ora, Josh. Thanks very much for coming in. Hey, how different is Mars Kia going ora, to look in the me. night sky? Is it going to look quite noticeably different? Yeah, so basically Mars is getting pretty close to us um, and next week we get to opposition so that's kind of the closest point that our two planets are going to get um, within our respective orbits so we're kind of overtaking Mars um, and because of that Mars is going to get really orange, really bright um, and it's going to outshine a lot of the stars um, and it's really one of the best times to see Mars um, really for about the next decade which is quite cool. Oh wow, okay, so this happens once a decade, this getting so close? Um, well, oppositions with Mars, they actually happen about every roughly two years, um, but the, the trouble with that is sometimes Mars is quite far away from us, it has a quite elliptical orbit, um, so the next three oppositions of Mars, Mars will be quite far away, um, so this is kind of our last chance to see it as big and bright as it will be, um, it's not going to be this bright in the sky for about 10 years. Okay, so you can see it with the naked eye, but it would look cooler if you had access to a telescope, right? What exactly would you be able to see in that case? Yeah, you obviously can see the planets with the naked eye, um, but if you do have a telescope, um, Mars is quite cool because it is a rocky planet, you can actually uh, make out surface features, so if you have a big enough uh, telescope, you can actually make out the polar ice caps on Mars, um, you can see the different brightness features, um, the different surface features, um, and yeah, it's a really cool thing because it's really one of the only planets um, of the surface of which we can see from Earth. Amazing. Uh, what is the best way for just regular folk without that kind of technology to see it, and how long is this going to last, this particular um, episodes. Yeah, well, obviously, you don't need a telescope. You can just go look at the planets. Um, but the best time to see it is going to be next week on about Thursday. That's when it gets to its closest. Um, all you really need is clear weather, so it's not looking very nice tonight. Um, but if it is nice and clear next week, all you need to do is head out, uh, look towards the east, and you're going to see a really bright orange-looking star, um, and that's going to be Mars, and that'll be in the sky for the entire night. OK, so it has to be dark for you to see it. It's not anything you can see any other time. Y yes, and it has to be clear. Unfortunately, you can't see through the clouds. <laughs> OK, well, you are, you're up there with our cameraman Liam, is it worth um, getting him to have a quick whip around and seeing if he can spot anything or are we... Oh, look, yeah. I could probably lie and say maybe one of the street lamps or a plane is Mars, but yeah, yeah. there's not a lot to see, I can see at the moment. I'm no expert, <laughs> but I believe we're focusing on a red light on top of a crane there, um, <laughs> which is not Mars. Well, I mean, you know, it's pretty spectacular, but not Mars. Uh, so we might just look another hey, it night. Could, it could be that bright and red. <laughs> OK, OK. Well, look, that's, you know, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll make do for now. Hey, Josh, thank you very much for that tonight. No worries. Kilda.